A sustainable future wouldn't be possible without battery storage. Yes, you could produce solar power using solar panels and wind power using windmills, but if you can't store that energy, then what's the point? One of the many positives of battery storage is that you'll be able to add energy to the utility grid when your resource is in abundance. And you, you will be able to take that energy that you stored from the grid when your resource is scarce, as these double arrows in this image show. But let's start from the beginning. So here we have a solar panel that's producing solar energy. That solar energy then goes to the charge controller. Now the charge controller makes sure that there's enough energy stored in the battery bank. So not too much, but not too little. Then the stored solar energy goes to the dual purpose inverter, where it's converted into a type of energy that can be useful in the utility grid, and that comes to your homes every day. Then we have the service panel that takes that energy that's coming off the grid and separates it into different circuits for different parts of your home, while the electric meter measures how much energy you're using. So if you're producing most of your energy on site and not using much energy from the grid, then the utility companies will pay you. While if you're using lots of energy from the grid, then you will pay the utility companies. In fact, these batteries will, will be made from organic and natural materials that are abundantly found on this earth, so you'll never run out. So in this image, we have CO2 being turned into carbonate with the help of the sun, while O2 is released. Then this carbonate is put through multi-walled carbon nanotubes to form lithium ion batteries. In fact, many experts care about this battery storage issue, and they've taken steps towards addressing it, as these next couple of breakthrough shows. So our first breakthrough is a tiny battery that could revolutionize green energy. It charges in 12 minutes, and it's made of billions of these nanopores, which are each 80,000 times thinner than a human hair. So it's quite thin, but it's very efficient. This next breakthrough is the Tesla Powerwall battery, and it stores up to 14 kilowatt hours of energy, which is substantial. And you can mount multiple of these around your home to power your house and store more energy, and use that stored energy to your advantage. This next breakthrough is made from organic molecules. Its electrodes are made from abundant aluminum and graphite, while its electrolyte is made from urea, which is also industrially produced by the ton. Instead of urea, this breakthrough is made from ferrocyanide, an organic molecule such as quinine. It's non-corrosive, non-flammable, and made from high-performance materials. Unlike the other examples, this last breakthrough is, is created by a solid glass electrolyte, which is what makes it special. It's created by John Goodenough and his team of engineers at the University of Texas, Austin. Now this solid glass electrolyte can operate at minus 20 degrees Celsius, which could function very well in a car under sub-zero degree weather. However, these breakthroughs haven't replaced the Energizer battery, the battery that we think of and that we use every day. Since these breakthroughs need to meet a set of requirements before they become reality. First, they need to be safe. We also need to make sure that they're reliable, that they're long lasting, they need to recharge quickly, they need to be market ready, they need to be profitable, they need to be affordable, also they need to be tiny but effective. So a sustainable future with electric cars and electric buses just wouldn't be possible without battery storage. Thank you.